There are a lot of different examples uh, that we've been able to leverage on this incredible tech stack that Facebook and Messenger and WhatsApp and Instagram, um, these are big, big, rich services with hundreds of millions of people on each, and there's a lot of code there. And being able to go and see this kind of menu of code stack of features and being able to pick and choose and put that together for Oculus has enabled us to move a lot faster with a much better platform. So how has the marriage with Facebook been so far? So it's been great. We've gone from shaking hands with Mark at 60 people uh, to many, many hundreds of people now in, in two years. Uh, we've relocated onto Facebook campus, so the food's improved. Mm -hmm. uh, we get free ice cream. Uh, it, it really has been great. So, I mean, you guys are under a tremendous amount of pressure. I mean, expectations are high. I mean, how does that, that which can, I think, strain any marriage, um, but how are you dealing with that? Well, when we got acquired, uh, it definitely woke everyone up. And I was talking about that before. Uh, that was something we knew was going to happen. It was a moment where Mark got up and said, VR is the next platform. And definitely, suddenly, the world took notice, uh, more than when we had been pioneering it just as a startup. And so there are a lot of people in the VR space. But this is what we needed. This is what VR needed. And it really is the best thing for VR, because ultimately, there has to be lots to do. And there has to be a huge ecosystem of content. And the more people that are out there investing in VR, the more likely that's to be. How involved is Mark personally? I think he's quite involved. Uh, like how often do you guys talk? Given how exciting the space yeah. is and how many breakthroughs are going to come um, from Oculus and, and in the VR space, uh, Mark is really dialed in to what we're doing. Uh, I think he, he posts uh, whenever a president visits, he takes them right into Oculus toy box and shows them the latest demos. And um, it really is the next big platform. And so for Mark, who I, I think has this uh, pretty successful, mature platform out there on the mobile side with Facebook, being able to look at what's next is really exciting and engaging. So he spends a lot of time. When you think back, if you hadn't sold to Facebook, would today be happening? Would the Rift be releasing now? So I think we would still be releasing now, but it wouldn't be at the quality level it is, and it wouldn't have this kind of content lineup. And really today, game days, uh, is all about games. And there's 30 games, over 30 games at launch. Uh, there's going to be, I think we're showing 41 games here today. Uh, there's going to be dozens more coming right in the first few months. Uh, that kind of momentum and that kind of breadth of content just wouldn't be there if we didn't have uh, partnered up with Facebook. And so we're at a much, much better place because of the uh, partnership. Do you ever think, what if we'd stayed independent and how different things would be? Well. A lot of things cross your mind, <laughs> and I think there are a lot of moments where we actually look at each other as a team and say, I'm so glad we're here at Facebook. <laughs> really, uh, it, it happens time and time again. Why? A lot of the industry is moving quickly. There are a lot of competitors getting into the space. There are, is the need for a lot of content, and the ecosystem needs a lot of support. To build a hardware device takes a lot of people, and all of these things add up to us being really happy that we're at Facebook and we have this kind of support. Do you think the competition moves more quickly, whether it's Sony or HTC or Samsung, because of the Facebook acquisition? Like, did you did you get every, sure. kick everyone else into high gear? Yeah, absolutely, I think so. I think that it woke a lot of people up um, when the CEO of a multi-billion dollar company gets up and says that VR is the next computing platform, one of the you know biggest most successful tech companies out there says, this is it, VR is the next platform. Uh, that gets everybody on board. That gets a lot of people inspired to go out there.